it, it, it seems like that we're, we're looking over some of the, the major economic principles that run government, is that government doesn't create anything. They don't create wealth, and they can't create wealth. And of course, that simply is not true. Okay. Can you explain? Yes, it's really, it's really quite simple. Okay. It is utterly impossible for business, for the economy, to function without government. Absolutely impossible. It cannot be but done. But you don't create wealth, is what I'm saying. It, you, well, what do you mean by create wealth? The fact is that government, the people working together in the thing we call government, provides the infrastructure within which everything else occurs. Right. But where do you without the highways, without the public, without the finance system that is regulated by the government, without the electric utilities that are regulated by the government and sometimes owned by the government, without the telephone system that's regulated by the government and sometimes owned by the government, without all these basic systems, without the criminal law, no private property would work, no business would work, no economy would happen. So this idea that somehow the government produces nothing is just nonsense. Well, let me rebuttal that's not this. True. That's where completely you, not true. Where do you, where do you make your money? How much money did the government make last year outside the taxpayer? How much money did the government make? It generate new wealth. Yes. You can't create wealth. You can only take from other places and redistribute. What the government bread. does is provide the infrastructure within which everything else works. I, I said that before. That's now not the just, question. Okay, now you've asked a different question. Let me finish the thought. Okay, go ahead. Here's the way the thing works in reality. Everybody has, every piece of a complex economy has different functions. A businessman finds a niche, finds a place where the service can be, can be used, or a product can be used that isn't being used now, yeah. or we can make it less expensively, and he goes and fills that niche. And he uses all these resources that are available that the people collectively, in the thing we call the government, have provided in order to do that. Uh, but the, these resources, where do they come from? Well, the resources, the resources are a complex web of all of it. There are public things that happen, there are private things that happen. And the genius of the American economy for two centuries has been that we have figured out how to make both pieces work. It isn't either or. It isn't the government as a thing. That's communism. It isn't private enterprise as a thing because it simply can't function that way. The whole thing, the, it's, it's an inner tie. It is a, an interweaving, it's an environment within which the whole society can function. In order for that to happen, some of the money that's generated in the private business and in private incomes needs to be applied toward the things that we do together. Well, I agree with that, but you and don't create anything, is my point, is that government doesn't create wealth. They can only distribute from one uh, place to another. I'll say it again. Say it again. You're not hearing me. I'm hearing you. No, you're not. Okay, the fact ahead. is so you're here that you're at our last town hall asked the same question. Without, so without, without the structure that we provide together in this thing we call no, the I government. I provide that. You don't provide with, anything. Without the structure, without the structure, Constitution, the laws, the, all these infrastructure pieces that I've described, all of those things. Without those things, the private economy cannot function at all. It, it Nothing would happen. That, back in the 1700s, well, they didn't have giant government sucking right. from us. Back they in, created it. And, and back in the 17th century, and back in the 17th century, 98.5% of everybody lived on the farm and died in poverty. We've learned a few things since then. And one of the things we've learned, and one of the geniuses of America, one of the great geniuses of America has been the building of a structure which is not socialist and which is not entirely private sector. It's a, it is a mix of things where the different sectors do the things that they're best at. What do you call it? All right. So Jerry, you got the next one and the woman in the back will be after that. Wow, man, I've heard a lot of anger expressed today. <laughs> And, and I, have some, I have some issues with state government. We communicate. I think you know what yeah. they are. I'm not going to bring them up here. Instead, I will once again thank you folks for some jobs well done. When you supported our organization for annexation reform <coughs> over the last 10 years, <coughs> and I'm fighting a sword.
people are thrilled here today. <laughs> but the reforms to ORS 195 and 222, which you all supported, and Terry, you're well familiar with what started all this, uh, have really benefited thousands of people around the state.